shooting guard, standing six foot five, number three, Jeremy Lamb. Time Warner Cable Arena in downtown Charlotte, North Carolina. Home of the Hornets. Looking at Chicago, they took the win in their last game against Orlando. And just one look at the score tells you all you need to know. They were dominant in just about every area. And the way they attacked the basket. Here's Captain Clutch. He's covered by Rhodes. And the shot is good. Captain Clutch has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Possible, and just hope for the best. Kevin will see if they can force him into a tough night. Thank you, Doris. And it's good. And that's now six points with the front office. Sometimes that's all it takes to be asked to go somewhere else. Here's Captain Clutch following the score by Derek Rhodes. Here's Captain Clutch, and it's the Hornets another three. And a really good way to start the game. Here's Captain Clutch. Nine points in the game so far. Down low. Goes up on the block. Again, the Hornets score. He always knows where his teammate's going to be in. His MVP award. His stats were on another planet that year. He was only the third player to report 2,000 points and 600 assists in a single season since 1973. The other two, LeBron James and Mike Kaminsky. Here's Walker. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Well, guys, they've shown some great case. Clark for Chicago being that famished five, especially with Rose back on the court. There's no doubting that, Kevin. I mean, even the addition of Gasol with his two rings, the way he left things in L.A., that left him with an appetite that has him still hustling. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. It stands out to you guys from the Hornets in this one. 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, folks. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We're going to break down the first half action for you. What a start for Jimmy Butler. He ended up with 17 points and one assist. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. Shaq, let's get your insight on Charlotte. Ernie, I'm going to hit you with some Spanish. Reason number uno why they're being blown out is their poor rebaldeon. Is that right? Rebaldeon? I don't know. Rebounding, whatever, however you say it. They're just not battling. Where's the fight? They've had way too many one-and-done possessions. Time to crank up the effort, Ernie. Just about time for the third quarter to get underway, and we'll see you again at the Horn. Ladies and gentlemen, get it inside. Yeah, Clark, quality looks at the rim. That's unit this run. And, and one thing about Jeremy Lin, he's Suretic in at the three. Butler attacking, and Jefferson sends it back. Here's Batum, throws down the breakaway jam. 
don't you love the chemistry? Those guys work so well together in the open floor. Uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't go right for them. I mean, game planning by the coaches, execution. Keep adding to the lead. Well, I know you don't want to say it, but I will, partner. I mean, they're trying to run the score up here. It's plain and simple. They're trying to throw salt. It's stolen by Kaminsky. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.